Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So I was at the local grocery store and I was checking out and I went to give the courtesy clerk my business card for my YouTube channel and he said, I'm already subscribed. I really like your 3D printer videos. So I figured I'd challenge printing this Duramic shiny silver silk PLA. It has a temperature range from 200 to 220 degrees, 50 to 70 on the hotbed, and a print speed between 30 and 70 millimeters per second. The box is in good shape, and the vacuum bag is sealed as well, so I'm assured that I have good product here. Let's check out the diameter tolerance, and you can see it's within the plus or minus 0.5 uh, millimeter tolerance there. I'm going to use my WebThings gateway to fire up my Creality Ender 3 with my Raspberry Pi OctaPrint print server there. Let's go into OctaPrint here and heat up the hot end to 200 degrees. I'm going to push a little of the old filament in before I pull it back out. Then let's cut the new filament at an angle and push that in and push it through until you see all the old filament finally come out. I've got this card box, this wallet, these napkin rings, and the business cards are already uploaded to the Octopi print server, so let's print those right now. Next, I have this fin can and nose cone for Estes BT60 size tubing. Let's go in and check out the Cura settings here. So in Cura, I'm using the Creality Ender 3 generic PLA 04 nozzle profile with an 02 layer height, two wall thicknesses, four top and bottom layers. That's 15% infill with the cubic pattern. The temperature is at 220 degrees on the hot end, 60 degrees on the hot bed. We're going to go with a print speed of 50 millimeters a second. We've enabled retraction here. We've got the fan spinning at 25%. We're going to go ahead and use a brim. And I'm going to use tree support everywhere on the nose cone. So here we go. All right, let's look at the finished product. There's that card box. It's got a nice shine to it well-defined shape. Here's the napkin rings. I use them for organizing my charge cables. They have a great sheen. The finish is very smooth. Here's the wallet. Again, great sheen to it. Nice finish. Very smooth. Here's the business cards. I love how the raised letters shine like that. There's that BT60 nose cone, looks good. And there's that fin can, super shiny. You can really see where this material would be great for like figurines if you're into printing game pieces. All right, so perhaps you'd like to check out this Duramic 3D silver shiny silk PLA for yourself. Thank you very much. So, Make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.